Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Investiva Movement. On Tuesday, we found out that the global leaders doubt that China and the U.S. will reach a phase two trade deal by the end of Trump's term. Canadian manufacturing sales declined 0.6% to $57 billion in November, the third consecutive monthly decrease. The U.K. employment grew by 208 thousand in the three months to November as the unemployment rate stayed at 3.8 percent. The German economic sentiment continued to rise significantly in January, but credit applications by Eurozone companies unexpectedly fell last quarter for the first time in six years. On Wednesday, we'll be looking at Canada's CPI and Australia's jobs report for day trading risk events. Today, I'm looking at the dollar-yen pair on the weekly chart which has now confirmed a break above the weekly Ichimoku cloud and the key resistance level of 109.47. This week, the pair appears to be in a pullback mode, which is what we normally expect after a break above the cloud. From here, we could see further gains in the next couple of months towards the key Fibonacci tracement levels at 110.56 and 112.11 respectively. Now, I'd like to hear from you. Do you think dollar yen will continue its long-term uptrend to these levels? Let me know down here in the comments. Of course, trading the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube and Instagram channels. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.